Hi, my name's Mark from AnyPond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. Today I want to talk to you about the big topic of a fish pond. You can see I'm getting quite excited with, with, with this topic because everybody that I ask about what do you want from a pond, they always say everything. So they want frogs, newts, plants, fish. They want, um, you know, absolutely everything in one pond. So they say, I want a fish pond. Well, Actually, what we call an everything pond is an ecosystem pond and then you can truly have everything all within balance and that's what it's all about, um, it is, it's all about balance. There's a couple of things to think about when you're having a dedicated fish pond um, and that's dimensions, whether you want to keep small fish so you only need a small pond or whether you want a big fish and then you might, you might need a dedicated koi pool, so it's all about the fish. Certainly it's a case of mo most people start having a pond for fish. It could be a case of that you've had pet goldfish in the past indoors and they've outgrown their environment. So they think, well, we can't get rid of um, Goldie the goldfish, so we need to create a garden pond. And then, and then obviously it goes outside into a garden pond. So it's actually just an extension of an indoor aquarium outside. So it's not always about the depth. Certainly it's a case of, um, we'll talk about depth in another video, but when you've got big fish, you do need a deeper pond. So you do need at least three foot when you're keeping big fish. Now, some big um, koi fanatics, they will actually say you need four foot or six foot, depending on, because they, they could be talking about fish over a metre long. Well, I'm actually talking about a, a mixed fish pond here. Um, and, and, and we're talking about everything, um, plants, um, we're talking about, if you think of all the colours in the rainbow, not a lot of people know that shabumpkins are really, really good value. You probably heard me talk about shabumpkins in another video because they're one of my favourite fish because they don't grow big, so you don't need a massive great big pond to keep koi. Certainly it's a case of um, they have lots and lots of different colours. So if you think of a fish pond, you've got moving water so, um, or, or moving colour within the water itself. So you can only look at moving water. It might be a natural waterfall or it might be um, you know, a, a majestic water feature. You can only look at those type of features for so long. But when you've got fish added to the element, you can watch them for hours. They can be relaxing, they can be naughty. You can have too many fish that are, are, are sort of like fighting for your, your attention and they don't really relax you. Um, but you can have a, a, a relaxed atmosphere with a few fish and it can be very peaceful just to go out there at the end of a stressful day. I'm going to go and relieve my stress just by feeding the, feeding the fish. So it's, it's a relaxed, balanced environment. So there we go. There's a quick topic about a fish pond. My name's Mark from AnyPond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. I'll see you soon.